Hey everybody, this is Shea Walker with All Garage Floors and today we're going to talk about whether it's actually necessary or not to etch the surface of your concrete before you apply an epoxy or similar garage floor coating. In addition, we want to tell you about a particular coating that we tested in regards to this subject that you may find highly interesting. So do us a favor if you will, hit the subscribe button down below so you can get updated with new videos as they become available. And let's get started. Okay, we can understand why some people may question the requirement to first etch the surface of their concrete when they begin reading the instructions on how to apply epoxy or a similar garage floor coating. This is particularly true for those who may have a brand new concrete slab or maybe you purchase a new home with a new garage and you're wondering why the heck do I need to do this? You know, my concrete's brand new. I feel like I should be able to skip this step. Well, there's a very important reason as to why. And that is that epoxy and similar coatings require a minimum concrete surface profile in order to properly penetrate the surface of the concrete to achieve the tenacious mechanical bond that these coatings are known for. Standard concrete that has been troweled and finished in the traditional ways will not meet that minimum concrete surface profile. Now, I'm going to put a chart up here for you to see. The, these are microscopic views of various concrete surface profiles. They're known as CSPs in the industry, and they, weight, they rank them from one at the lowest and on up. Now, epoxy and other coatings need a minimum CSP1 profile, which is achieved via etching. The next one is CSP2, and that's achieved via grinding. If you were to be apply a commercial quality or more industrial type coating. Grinding is preferred, but it's not required. You can still get by with a good etch of the surface of the concrete. Now, there is a reason why these coatings require this, and that is that coatings such as epoxy are much more viscous and more thick than other liquids such as, say, paint. Um, or even water, and they have a very high surface tension. So if we were going to take a, a drop of epoxy and apply it to bare untreated concrete and apply a drop of water next to it, you'll notice a big difference. The epoxy will just sit there and it won't do anything. The water, on the other hand, will immediately turn the concrete a little bit darker. It'll begin to flatten out and slowly get absorbed. That's because the water wets out much better than the coating does. So when we etch the surface of the concrete, it allows the coating to wet out much better. The etch solution actually uh, reacts with the minerals in the concrete and breaks down the very uppermost layers of the surface. That's why you get the white powder residue when you rinse out your uh, garage after you've etched. And the result is all these microscopic pores and capillaries in the concrete tend to be exposed and the surface is just slightly rougher. And this will allow the coating to penetrate like it should to achieve that bond. If you do not etch, your coating is going to peel up. So it, this is why it's very important to do so. Now you may be wondering what type of etch solution should I use? Well, we recommend going with whatever the manufacturer says you should use. For example, if you're gonna purchase one of your typical DIY epoxy kits from say your local home improvement center, Rust-Oleum's an example, they actually provide a citric acid etch with all their products. Now this is the least aggressive type of etch and it's eco-friendly. However, it's strong enough for the type of coating that you're gonna put down. If you're gonna be applying a much higher quality coating from a vendor that you can get online, we recommend going with whatever they recommend or they sell on their website. If one isn't available, then a muriatic acid etch is always the best way to go. This is the most aggressive etch that you can do. Now, muriatic acid can be hazardous, 
So it's important that you etch safely. Now we have a, an article with the link down below that tells you how you can safely etch with muriatic acid. If you still don't feel comfortable after reading that article, we also have a separate article, and again, it's linked below, that has some alternative solutions to etching that you can use. There are other products out there that will etch the concrete that doesn't involve muriatic acid. Now, again, I just want to point out, we can't state this enough, you need to etch. The number one cause to failures of coatings with DIY application is bad concrete preparation. So it is extremely important. Now that said, we did say that there was a particular coating that we tested that you would be interested in. And this particular coating does not require etching of the concrete in most cases. In addition, it's a commercial quality coating, and it's called Duragrade Concrete by Rust Bullet. We tested this concrete, we, we uh, uh, subjected it to a variety of chemical tests and staining and abrasion and such, and it's a very nice quality coating. It comes in a variety of colors other than your typical tans and grays, and it also has an optional clear coat. And we suggest that you read about it. Again, we have it in the link down below. Now, if you have any questions, please comment below, or even better yet, visit us on our website, allgaragefloors.com. Uh, we're very active on the site. We get people asking us questions all the time, and we'll be happy to answer them there as well. So thanks for watching, and good luck.